Hi guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and what you see here is a big pile of sh um, worm castings. I've been seeing people talking about finding worms in cocoons after months, so I thought, ooh, I should probably have a look at this and make sure they're not drying out too much and lose my biologicals. I mean, that is the whole point of worm castings. So I thought I would come in here and have a look at them and see if uh, anybody was alive. Smells pretty earthy. I probably am gonna spray some water on this to make sure that um, the biologicals don't lose their, I don't know, biological mojo before I need to use them. Let's just take a look here and see if there's anybody wiggling around. I don't see anybody. I mean, I did really, really, really try to make sure that I sifted this down below 1 20th of an inch. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not even seeing any mites, springtails. I don't see anybody wiggling around. So I think I'm gonna spray this and give this a little bit of water so that it doesn't dry out and kill my biologicals. I wanna make sure that there is at least some moisture in there. I'm not gonna get it wet by any means, but uh, I do wanna make sure there is some um, that is something that the microbes need in order for them to stay alive so they can help my plants later on this year. Uh, but I just wanted to, I don't know, if anybody cared, you know, what happens normally after you sift your, and in the case of this particular bin of castings, uh, no, there's not, but this is only one bin. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me and my castings. No worms at all this time. Sorry, guys. Well, give me a thumbs up just for the information purposes. Click that subscribe button and you can come and hang out when I have worms next time. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.